Did you always know that you wanted to go into medicine? I, I decided very early in my life that I wanted to be in the healing field. I didn't know exactly what I'd be doing. Um, I knew that I loved being able to talk to people about their problems. Uh, There's something about it just satisfied me to understand it well enough. But there's a narcissistic element to this too, you know. To understand your own body, you have to become a doctor in many ways. And uh, I, I recognize that if I really wanted to understand the world outside of me, I had to understand the world inside of me. Mm-hmm. But the catalyzing moment happened when I was seven years of age. I was in Peterson's Ice Cream, which is a small little ice cream store in Wilmington, Delaware. <laughs> and I was waiting in line to get my ice cream. We always got ice cream, you know, chocolate, chocolate fudge ice cream. That was my favorite. So I'm waiting in line, the kid in front of me who's 10, which by the way, at that age, a 10 year old, three years older than you, they're like a monster, they're mm. huge. So this kid's waiting to get his ice cream and my father asks him what he wants to be when he grows up. And the kid said, I don't know, I'm 10, which is a very reasonable answer to give. My father very politely lets the kid get his ice cream, move on. And as I'm going to get mine, I'm next in line. Uh, my father turns to me and said, you know, don't ever give me that answer that that kid gave me. I don't care what you're gonna become. I don't care if you change your mind a hundred times, but you always have to know what you want to be because hmm. otherwise you can't aim in that direction. And he asked me what I wanted to be. And I thought, you know, I'd seen my father making rounds in the hospital. I'd scurry along next to him as he went to see patients. I'd see the looks in the patient's eyes when he came. It was a look of hope mm-hmm. uh, uh, that, you know, that someone had come actually to, to help. And I, I thought, that God, it would feel so good if I could do that too. So I didn't really care what I was going to become. I cared about how I'd feel mm-hmm. when I got there. And I thought, I can, I can feel that way. I'd like that. So I said, I'll be a doctor. You know what? I never changed my mind. That's beautiful. Mm. You were very lucky to, uh, yeah. to have that insight because that is how we all should pick a profession I, I, without I, a doubt. I what turns so. you on? That's what I tell my kids. What makes you feel good? I say the same things. I don't care what you are and don't even try to figure it out. Just figure out what you want to feel like. 